Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in this video today I wanted to go over upscaling an Animate Diff animation within Comfy UI. We're going to be looking at three upscaling methods such as the Ultimate SD Upscale using just a straight up upscaling model and then also upscaling within the latent space. Uh, but before we take a look at those upscaling methods, I just want to briefly look at the workflow here to kind of give you an idea of what we're working with. And again, this whole workflow will be linked to in the description. So if you want to download it and play with it yourself, you can go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the results side by side. And as we do that, we'll be taking a look at each of these upscaling methods. So again, here's a side by side comparison. This case sampler took about three minutes to complete on the unmodified output here. Now if we go ahead and jump ahead, here is the uh, side by side comparison of the unmodified output versus the ultimate SD upscale. So I'm upscaling this to 640 by 640 and I'm using the control net tile along with this upscaler model. And in total, even just going from 512 to 640, uh, it took about 30 minutes to process. And I'm using an RTX 3060 as a reference here. Uh, taking a look at the workflow, you can see here how all this is kind of strung together uh, using the upscale model, uh, as well as the denoise was at point 20, uh, and using this control net with the tile uh, control net here. So. As far as comparison and quality, the Ultimate SD Upscale looks really clear compared to this unmodified output. If you kind of pause it here, you can see where there's like graininess such as in the forehead. Uh, it really gets cleaned up and is a lot more smoother uh, with it once it passes through this Ultimate SD Upscale method here. And there's no real new things, if you will, being added to the image itself. It's really retaining everything from the original image, but upscaling it and making it look a little bit nicer here. So again, here's a, another side by side um, that you can kind of see how both of these might differ a little bit on quality. Uh, now, just as a note, this reference video is linked to in the description. It's just going to be an unlisted video here on YouTube, but you can always just pull this up and take a look at it if you're wanting to kind of look at this a little bit clearer. Okay, so that's with the Ultimate SD Upscale. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, next uh, up upscaling method, which is just using an upscaling model. Uh, so basically I'm taking this image after it's already been decoded by the VAE and then passing it through this model and upscaling it just at 640 by 640 and that's it. Um, so looking at this we can see right away that this uh, upscaling using a model starts to introduce some grain into the output of this image. While it does look a little bit clearer, um, the graininess does start to happen. So we can see here on a little bit quicker of an animation, we can see like the beard or the eyes, they really start to look a lot more grainy with the upscaling model. Now there's lots of upscaling models that you can test against, so you might want to play around with this. Uh, but yes, that's kind of what you would expect when using an upscaling model. Um, but just to note here, again this is a 640 by 640, but this only took one minute to process, so it's much more efficient. Uh, when compared to the other upscaling methods, such as the latent one, which we'll be talking about in, on the next uh, slide here, if you will, and then also with the Ultimate SD Upscale. So if you have a lot of upscalers at your disposal, it's definitely worth testing and seeing which one provides the best results for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump ahead here, and we're going to take a look at the latent upscale method. So latent upscale is basically image to image. Uh, we're taking the raw latent image uh, before it was decoded by the VAE and then we're going to go ahead and expand it to the 640 by 640 and pass it through the case sampler again. But instead of generating a brand new image, this uh, we are only going to denoise it by 0.60 so it will still have an idea of what rests behind that image and then I'll go ahead and clean it up and expand the image and then we'll go ahead and decode it um, and then we'll have our output. So one of the problems with this process, while it's a little bit quicker, especially when compared to the Ultimate SD Upscale, um, it only took about three and a half minutes to complete. 
uh, but it does start to introduce new objects into your image. So depending on uh, what it is that you're working with, if that's tolerated or not, uh, you may or may not want to consider this upscaling methods. Because so as we can see here, uh, the subject now has markings on the head as well as like on the cheek here. The eyes look a hair bluer, and then we also see like these little things on the side of the head uh, that were not here in the unmodified original. Now you can play around with the denoising and kind of turn that down a little bit. But within Comfy UI, if you turn down that denoising a little bit too much, it will start to introduce artifacts. So it's kind of uh, something of a give and take. So you have to play around with it a little bit. But the quality does look uh, much better. Um, we can see, you know, it just generally looks a lot softer. There's less grain uh, when compared to this 512 by 512. And again, uh, this took about three and a half minutes to complete, um, and it will of course be longer if you're going for like a 1024 by 1024 animation so just to kind of keep that into account uh, so yes that is with upscaling with uh, comfy UI and animate diff animations and kind of the three primary ways that you can do that uh, the workflow again is included in the description so if you want to download it you can kind of run your animation or your video through there and kind of see the results for yourself um, and also play around with it a little bit more. But I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please consider hitting that thumbs up and also subscribing to the channel. And of course, if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to chime in. Just drop a line in the comment section below. And of course, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.